Hey everybody, Antoni here with a review of Prutiende A Journey, which was released on September 16, 2016. The conductor was Marco Armiliato, and joining her were mezzo-soprano Kate Aldrich, baritone Nicola Alaimo, and bass Gianluca Buratto. And in this album, Miss Yende performed works composed by Vincenzo Bellini, Gioacchino Rossini, Gaetano Donizetti, Leo Dolibe, and Charles Gounod. I first encountered Miss Yende about three years ago when I saw her perform the role of La Comtesse Adèle de Fribetier from Rossini's Le Comtori at the Teatro alla Scala. And my impression of her singing was as positive as one could be. I fell in love with how this wonderful lyric soprano with a lot of dramatic coloratura and lyric coloratura soprano capabilities and how she was able to just sing everything on point thanks to that wonderful pure technique and she was just able to do the role of Adele justice and when I heard that this particular album was going to be released, I was really excited for her because I knew that her career was ever progressing and I can definitely tell that she just goes from strength to strength and this album certainly proves it. The album starts off with her rendition of Rosina's aria Una Voce Poco Fa, which was brilliantly sung and complete with a lot of trills, leaps, and a lot of that great coloratura skill and that final high E which she sang which I thought just sounded very clear and absolutely cleanly attacked. We also had such wonderful arias from Lucia de la Marmor where she sang Ragnava nel silencio, Romeo e Juliet where she sang Dieu que frisson à mes veines which then leads to the main aria Amour, la mina, mon courage. The flower duet, which she sung with Kate Aldrich. And of course, Qui la voce sua suave from Bellini's I Puritani. The bell song from Lacme. And even Beatrice di Tenda's Ma la sola. I thought she was able to give all of these arias a great sense of feeling, a lot of great technical prowess. And she was just able to inhabit all of these roles musically well, all thanks to that superb and clean agility that she has in her voice while having that fullness of a full lyric soprano, I can definitely tell that she managed to really sell me all the way through. She was in absolutely great form all throughout. She showed no signs of fatigue. In fact, she was an overall strong vocal performer. The endurance she gives, the clean and clear technique that she has, and her great musicianship, and her overall charisma certainly make her stand out superbly. It's not just Miss Yende that did a phenomenal job with this album. The other performers also contributed handsomely. Kate Aldrich's firm-toned, lyric-dramatic mezzo voice certainly was a fine compliment to Pretty Yende's more lyric soprano voice. How she managed to sing Malika's lines were absolutely gorgeous. And even though I thought her Alisa was a bit too heavy on her, I still have to give her credit for her superb musicianship and for also contributing handsomely to this album. Not to mention, we also have the likes of Nicola Alaimo and Gianluca Burato, who also joined Miss Yende in Cui la voce sua suave as Ricardo and Giorgio, respectively. With Nicola Alaimo, I really love that full-bodied, cello-like firmness in his voice, which seems to have a lot of great possibilities for the more dramatic baritone repertoire. And it's no surprise that I've also been seeing him live for quite some time, and he certainly has one of the finest dramatic baritone voices I have ever heard. And let's not forget about Gianluca Burato, whose firm, round, and rich basso cantante voice certainly was a welcome treat. He managed to also sing his lines superbly, and his voice was able to blend wonderfully with Signora Alaimos. And the conducting done by Marco Armiliato was superb, nuanced, 
and everyone went together in a way that was a major ensemble. So overall, this was definitely more than just a treat. It was an absolute blast listening to what Pritiyende had to offer, not only as a singer, but as a complete artist. And you know darn well what I'm gonna give this album. A well-deserved five out of five stars. This is definitely a must listen if you are a fan of Pritiyende and even if you're not a major, major fan of her, then you will definitely have a great time listening to what she has to offer, all thanks to her superb voice, great technique, and a lot of wonderful and enthusiastic and charismatic singing. And for those of you who listened to this particular album, what did you think of it? Did you feel like Pretty Enda was at her absolute vocal best? Did you feel like the other singers contributed very well to this album? Or did you feel like there was something that kind of stuck out like a sore thumb? Comment below and let me know. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in later for my review of Diana Damrao, Piama del Becanto. So until then, have a great day, everybody.